You must have seen the use of a strainer to separate tea leaves from the brew and a muslin cloth to separate juice from the fruit pulp. But do you know how undissolved solid particles are separated from liquids? Yes, through a sieve or strainer. The liquid particles are small enough to pass through the pores of the strainer, but the solid particles are too large and so they cannot pass through. But what do we do when the solid particles are also very small? Well, we then use a strainer with even smaller pores like a filter paper. Let us see how a filter paper separates undissolved solids from the mixture of wheat flour and water. We need a mixture of wheat flour and water, conical flask, funnel and a filter paper. Fold the filter paper in the form of a cone and fix it on the funnel. Pour the mixture of wheat flour and water on the filter paper. Wait and observe. Look. Clear water passes through the filter paper and gets collected in the conical flask. The wheat flour particles cannot pass through the filter paper and remain on the filter. This is because the pores of the filter paper are smaller than the particles of wheat flour. Filtration is a process by which insoluble solids can be removed from a liquid by using a filter paper or membrane. In the filtration process, liquid that filters through is the filtrate. Undissolved solid particles are residue. Now can you guess what you should use to separate say tea from the brew mixed with tea leaves and mud from muddy water?